Jordan Paul George, the Pacers discussed a trade that would have sent him to the Warriors for Clay Thompson, and our own Adrian Wojnarowski says the proposed trade was a straight up one for one deal, and Golden State said no to the offer. Talks with Indiana ended right there. LZ, <laughs> yes. you think there will come a time when perhaps the Warriors might regret not having traded for Paul George? No, of course not. Because the difference between Klay Thompson and, and, and Paul George in their offense is so slim. Is Paul George a better player? I guess maybe, but is he tens of millions of dollars more a better player than Klay Thompson? Absolutely mm. not. They're going to have mm. difficulty signing Klay Thompson anyway. Paul George is probably going to demand more money. So I say it was a wash, and I don't blame him for hanging up the phone on him. I think this is a smart play okay. if you're a Golden State because, one, you don't fix anything that's not broke. That's they what I said. I mean, they've won two championships in the last three years. They've been there all three years. What the hell are you going to improve on, basically? That one championship that got away from you because of Steph Curry's well, injury? Well, if there, what the, are you doing? If it was a gap of significant as Harrison Barnes for Kevin Durant, then you do sure. that. Yeah, exactly. Because it wasn't, it wasn't broken or, then. Or, or if you didn't accomplish your goal, you accomplish your goal. And don't forget about the chemistry, the locker room, the selflessness, the unselfishness of this team. Who knows if Paul George really wants to sign exactly. up to be second or third fiddle? That's the conversation. Because of his contract, I mean, I, it's a ridiculous proposal. I'm surprised that the Pacers even made this call because yeah. Paul George already said that he wants to play somewhere else next season. Right. You've got Klay Thompson. You won a championship. And one thing I love about this Warriors team is they kind of love each other. They've got a really yeah, good they thing. Yeah, They've got real. a group. They have a lot of fun. They're bringing in Nick Young, you know, and JaVale scoop? McGee. Yes, I know that. They all write me texts every day telling <laughs> how much they love each other. I can tell. I'm a reporter. Love. There's love. There's yeah, you don't break that <laughs> up. I am a reporter. For you. As much as you don't I break it. What if I told you the team loved each other? <laughs> <laughs> I, but I agree. I think, I, first of all, I would be so. sad to see Clay Thompson in a Pacers uniform. But why are you surprised that Indiana made the call? I feel like I don't know why they would ever accept that. Because the thing is, if you want Paul George, you're like, oh, he's he's great at defense. He's a two-way player. Yeah. Guess what? Clay Thompson, same exact thing. Yeah. You know, you, just, there is sort of an apples for apples thing here, and the contracts don't really make sense. You know what this says, though, indirectly about Kevin Love, though, right? Because hmm? the Cavs Kevin go, Love. the, oh, cap, right. the oh, Cavs right. go, yo, there. we'll give you Kevin Love. Patriots says, nah, dog. Then they call up Golden State. Yo, you got Clay Thompson? They say, nah, dog. So they say, we'll mm. take Victor Oladipo. Mm. And, <laughs> but I get what you're saying. The thing about it is the real rub of this situation, I ain't catch that guys fully. Um, the real rub of this situation, <laughs> y'all agree with me. Uh, you understand the, the NBA. You no, but see, the, NBA real rub. <laughs> <laughs> the real rub of this situation is Klay Thompson, who I'm thinking is going to get tired of being a whipping boy, and sooner or later is going to leave there, because he's third. You think he's, you think yeah. he's yeah. Every time boy. there's a trade opportunity, guess who name comes up? But it's that's the It's just a totem pole situation. He just happens to be. And you know but what? I, but his talent is, his talent happens to be greater than that, and there's always an issue no, when a guy in a knows good spot. Hold on, hold on. I, I wouldn't mind being time out. Less His numbers than two dipped last like year like none other Ooh, on that team. His talent is dancing to house Great music. Talks in career high. First of all, I'm talking about his okay. number. Second of all, I think it is an indication that if someone would even make a call to the Warriors and propose this, that there are people that believe that perhaps Klay Thompson is an asset that will be moved at some point, right. whether by his own volitions or the team's. I, I don't want I, him leaving the state of California for his own good. Ooh, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. 420. What about him being a Laker like his dad? I think it's more Fine. about Kevin Only Pritchard California. being desperate to try to move him and thinking, well, maybe, just maybe, they might be foolish to take this move. That's all. What's the worst going to happen? You get in there with back of no one else's name is ever in trade conversation. I'm telling you, it takes a toll on because the guy. Because you mm. have two dudes that just happen to be two of the best in the league. It's not saying he's not. It just happens to be a total pole Respect. situation. He just it eroded Pau Gasol with the Lakers, and I saw that effect. It may be happening. No, up there. Pau Gasol. No, no, Pau Gasol still was balling when he went to Chicago. Moving on.